Welcome back Guardians, Gemini here, and I want to cover Destiny 2's locked loadout and my thoughts on Bungie's vision on the future of Destiny 2. This was all revealed yesterday on IGN's channel, and I must say, that was awesome. I recommend you check it out. The link will be in the description below. Let's begin. So in the interview, Luke Smith and Mark Noseworthy talk about their vision on the future of Destiny. Specifically, they talk about their goals on Destiny 2 and how it will continue to be community focused. But before we get into that, and give my thoughts on this part of the topic, I want to touch on a topic that very much stood out to me in the community, locked loadouts. Now I know there are a lot of players not too happy about this, and some that may have expressed their concerns regarding it. It's understandable that this sort of change feels like Bungie's taking away some core aspects that made the first Destiny fun to play. Examples are, in Strikes, you could adjust your loadouts according to the situation presented to you, or in a Raid, you may have to change your role on your fire team to adjust for the challenge before you. I get it, and I totally understand this concern for Destiny 2's change. But here's the thing, the game isn't even out yet. In fact, the beta isn't even out yet. And we're already bashing and having doubts on a title that most of us have yet to play. Additionally, we don't know what these locked loadouts will affect in the game, or even to what extent. Does this mean that the change applies only to subclasses or abilities in general? Is it weapons or armor or maybe all of them at the same time? Are these locked loadouts specific to respawn restricted zones or hole strikes or just raids? Again, we don't know, and Bungie didn't specify on this. Personally, I'm looking forward to this change. I'll give my reasons why. But first, this isn't because I didn't like the old setup in the first Destiny. I just like these as challenges because it's through these changes that a game can evolve into something we can look forward to. Games won't improve or grow if it remains the same as its predecessors. Now, lock loadouts could mean that the game will be more mechanic driven. This is just conjecture, but ultimately we need to give Bungie a chance before we cast our judgement. They really want us involved in and immersed in the world of Destiny 2 through the emphasis on community. I really think these lock loadouts are a good thing coming, because it would add more depth to the strikes, missions, or even the raids. We would have to work cohesively as a team and come up with plans of action before starting a mission. Imagine, one player could be the sniper, while another could be the heavy powerhouse, and another could be the support role, and etc. It would really be a dynamic mechanic and a challenge that can work in our favor. Just remember that in Destiny, we had some OP weapons that really hurt the progression of the game. Granted, they were fun to use, but we all know how quickly we overcame many of the game's challenges because of the high DPS battles and raids and strikes that would require either a Galahorn or some other OP exotic. I really think Bungie is trying to include as many players in these events as possible, unlike the DPS-driven battles of Destiny 1, where if you were not doing as much damage as the rest of the team, then you're not good enough to play with them. And they could be trying to move away from that. Ultimately, I think it's great news we're getting locked loadouts. Now, Luke Smith and Mark Noseworthy also go on to confirm how Destiny 1 was hard to enjoy because of its lack of progress. This time around in Destiny 2, they aim to achieve that feeling of progression by making rewards that much more challenging to attain and providing a new platform from years of ongoing content, where anyone can easily get into. You will be able to easily see an activity on your destination map, and you can earn different tiered rewards based on the type of activity you complete. This is by far the most exciting part of Destiny 2 I'm looking forward to. It means we will have so much to do and so much to explore that you'll be able to see and feel your character's progression in the story. I very much hope they make exotics that much more challenging to earn, because that's how it should feel. Not a random drop, but a very challenging activity that makes particular exotics feel like a trophy of sorts. It would fall in line with their community-based design, because that means that anyone can attempt that challenge and not be left out. Lastly, they talk about getting the story right this time around. Their goal here is making the story relatable through memorable characters, moments, and even the worlds we explore. They even go into how they're going to incorporate the grimoire lore into the game. See, they recognize that we're fans of the lore, even though we're niche subculture. Way to go, fans. In order to achieve this, they're approaching the story by putting it in the game world through legendary and exotic gear that we earn and discover. It would tell us great stories of many characters and the history in the Destiny universe. In my opinion, this is great news. It gives us lore hunters more of a reason to hunt down every exotic weapon or armor. Even legendary gear will have stories to tell, making the Destiny universe that much more immersive. Gone are the days of looking up grimoire cards on a separate application, and even though I love that system, I can welcome this way of story and lore telling with open arms. 
it would help serve the community by collaborating now, more than ever, to find out the history and the foreshadowing of things to come. This can bring in new players to the lore community, and that is a wonderful surprise. With all that is coming in Destiny 2, I can't wait to sink my teeth into the story and find out what happens to some of my favorite characters. I'll be delivering more news as it comes out. In the meantime, that'll wrap up today's episode on locked loadouts and Destiny 2's future. If you have any suggestions or have any thoughts on today's topic, leave a comment below. If you like the content and want to help me out, please like this video and subscribe. And if you want to see more content on this channel and want to be notified of a new video, hit the bell beside the button. As always, Guardians, until next time, good gaming.